it is a hot and steamy day in July. The end of July. I think it might storm. The bees are busy. Hi, we're here with our beekeeper. This is Aaron. He happens to be my brother-in-law and he has been taking care of our bees over here. So we are going to look at them and see what they're doing. So. Tell us, what are we going to do? What do we have here? Well, we're going to suit up so that the bees, because uh, we're coming into their home. Okay. It was our home at first when we put it all together, but once those bees are in there, I was told by other people who have done this much longer, it's their home now. So when every time you interrupt it, you want to have the right gear for the right job. And that's what this is, just so they can't get in and uh, sting us. Perfect. All right, <laughs> so we're going to gear up. This one's me. Sorry, I okay. know that. Mine's very unconventional. I just put stuff together so I'm covered. Sure. You just don't want tight clothing. Tight clothing allows them to, if they fear, if they view you as a threat. You can feel it. Yeah. And you wear this so that they can't get in and be by your nose and all that stuff. We're dressed up and ready to go. All right. Got let's a hive do it. tool. You'll we'll probably see what's going on with this. Don't run in the box. Front is their front door, and you just you just stand a better chance of being in their way, doing their thing, and them you being viewed as a threat if you're in their front door. So gotcha. you see them all in the front. We just keep this rock on here just to help keep the lid up. You guys got a lot of wind out there. Either with your phone or and actually with your ear, you can hear them. You can just really hear them. Oh yeah. Now this this is called the inner lid, and it's usually glued down by them with something called propolis. It's part of the process of what they make in honey and all, and they seal the edges. So you got to pry it up a little bit. That does sound like a lot more activity than the last time we opened it. Wow. We're not too worried about them on there. We're just going to set them down. They'll find their way back in the hive. But we're trying to view how busy they've been and how much they're, if they're making honey up here, what's going on. Oh, this right here is a queen excluder. It's a screen that she cannot fit through. So it keeps her down in the bottom, which is what we call the brood chambers where they do make the eggs and the babies and all that stuff and the queen is larger right she is larger she has a longer abdomen she's the only bee now nothing's going on there just yet no there's no honey in there no honey but not even they haven't really even built up the wax that wax is what we put in to start but you can see they're obviously they're thinking about yeah, it yeah they're right? checking out yep they're checking out the whole thing and usually if you're just like this they don't really care about you so much they just want to do their job Good bees. Now, I'm just gonna set this down like this. I don't want to be real careful not to knock that off. Usually I have something to set the stuff on as we bring it out. But now they will start to go around us because we're still they're still figuring out what we're doing in their home. And they maintain temperature and moisture in there all by themselves. They do it all. They Every, are amazing. Everybody has a job. They're all ladies, by the way. Only the, There's only a few men. They're called drones. And they help make babies. And that's really their only job. They can't even sting. 
So right now what we wanted to check on, you can bring the video over here and look down in. Up in this top one, they don't seem to be doing a whole lot just yet, but we've had a lot of rain. And when we've had it, it's been like two, three days in a row where it's heavy and it just kind of, I think it keeps them to home. I'm new to this too, so I don't know all the all the stuff. But So they've been busy. They've been busy, but they're not. Could you see the, the wax and the stuff underneath the excluder, the queen excluder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they should be really going... Go, they're building honey down there the reserves they're uh that's their food right that is their food down there anything under this queen excluder on the, that you see that looks like metal uh -huh. is for them that's for them to make babies it's for them to uh their honey is for them to eat but up here above that that's what we will later um spin out for us so what we wanted to find out, and unfortunately they don't look like they've really done a whole lot up here yet, and I don't know, I'm just guessing it's because of the amount of rain that we've had when, and then how long it lasts. It keeps them in their home. They can't very well be going out in those torrential rains. Right. So, so you think all the other um, frames there are, are empty also? I can see them, yeah, and if you can get a good view looking between. This is a nine frame box that we're doing. You can see that there's hardly anything on them. It's just the white wax. Okay. I like the fact that they're all over that they're all over it, but they really aren't building it up yet. You want to look? Uh, oh, I can do that. Yeah. I, d I don't want to mess with it too much because. Yeah, we don't want to make them upset. And it's not just upset. You'd be surprised. They really don't care about us. They want to just do their job, but if you mess with it enough, yes, then. Mm, man. Nope, not yet. So, like I said, they glue this together, and it gets really hard to pull it apart. I may or may not pull this open. Whoa. Okay, see? I'm not going to do no more. Right. So, they are doing their job a lot, but I think they got held back. So, sorry, by the rain. And we try to be as kind as we can as we pull these ugh, apart and put them back together. You know, they're on the edge there. They're not really... Like when we go to put this back, if you go real slow and go on an angle, not square, they hopefully will move out of the way. You're bound to sometimes <laughs> accidentally get one. It's unfortunate. You'll open it the next time and you'll see the one you got last time. <laughs> But they typically move out of the way if you go slow enough for them. So what we were evaluating is how well they were doing. By this time last year, which was my first year doing this, they were, man, they had so much honey produced uh, already. But again, we didn't have the rains in a row like we had this year so far. Right. And what we might want to do, we talked about this, is set up a sugar, a syrup or a sugar um, bottle that has little itty bitty holes on the bottom and it drips out so very very uh, slow that the bees come up take it and they'll, they don't have to fly off far and find fresh. Just helps them to find something to eat. Yep. So right now we're not going to add any more of these right now okay. because if you do that you give them a whole nother it's like giving them another 200 square foot in their apartment that they got to heat keep moisture Oh they have to take care of it. Right. You want to give them only what as they keep building. Okay. Like if it were in a tree, inside a big old tree. Okay. And that's about it. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right. This is their front door. They are busy going in and out. They're working. We want to make sure they have enough flowers. They can get the nectar that they need. We might give them some extra syrup to help them out. They are busy, busy. All right, so we made our syrup and water one-to-one -one mix. We are gonna help the bees. We're gonna feed them. So we have our syrup here. We have it hooked up. We're gonna put it in the ground right near their hive. You can see how it little holes, it kind of, it's gonna drip out and that's gonna give them some extra food. All right, let's get it in the ground. 
All right, we're thinking this is the best location. It's nice and close to the beehive. They'll have access to it and it'll give them some extra food. We'll check it tomorrow and see if they found it. It is a quiet August evening. It's a little bit cool. And you can see we've made some changes to our beehive. We have the sugar water um, to the side there that we added. And then at the bottom we added another one. So there would be plenty of food for the bees. We also added some extra supers on the top so it's taller now. The two bottom, those are um, full-size supers, they are where the bees and the queen is at and that's where they store their honey. The three smaller ones on top, the small supers, that's where they're going to store their extra honey. That's the honey we're going to be able to take. So the two bottom parts, that's where they store their honey. That's their food. But they make so much, there's going to be enough for us. So that's why we added those extra ones on top so they can start filling that and we'll be able to get some honey too. So you can see them flying around there. Most of them are home now. It's evening and it's cooling off. So they are all inside the hive tending to their work. Pretty soon we'll be able to get into the hive and see how much honey is in there. We'll keep track.